Good morning, folks. Today's October 25th, 2018, Thursday, and I didn't get an opportunity to trade yesterday. I did watch the markets, but just didn't uh, really like anything and uh, looked like SPY really moved uh, to the downside early in the morning. But either way, here we are on this Thursday morning trying to find a trade, looking at Forex Factory. We have a couple things on, on the docket. We have pending home sales at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time, natural gas storage at 1030. And then FOMC members are speaking today, uh, midday Eastern time. Um, all relatively uh, low impact news. And uh, let's see where the markets go today. I do see that uh, signal, that green arrow on Apple. I don't really like it. The uh, moving averages are not to my advantage. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and buy some calls here. 268 calls that expire in four days. I'm just going to buy one. Let's see here. I bought one call at 281, I believe. I bought one call at 281. The 268 calls that expire in four days. Kind of even right about now. We're getting some momentum here. Whoa, the option price is uh, going a little crazy. I'm not really liking this action, but uh, well, it's going. I went ahead and sold. I didn't like the action that was going on. Mm, yeah, the action was very weird. I um, mean, I did not like it. I sold at 284. Yeah, it's back then to 279 by 281. You can see here SPY off to the far, far right. And you can see here the option price 278 by 282. You can see here I bought at 281, sold at 284. It was very weird because at one point the option price actually moved to 297, 298, and then quickly came back down. 284, 285, 289. I mean, it's going. I made three bucks on the day. Um, minus commission fees and of course look where they are trading now 268 calls they're trading at three dollars and twenty two cents three dollars and twenty cents on the bid I bought it in a 281 boy I really need to stick to my guns don't I a little on the frustrating side but it's okay there's another day I live to see another day I didn't lose uh, on this trade I would have been more upset if I lost on this trade but look at that you can see my signal popped in right here uh, where did I get in activity get in 751 751 so right at the beginning of this candle right here so somewhere in here that's where I bought in uh, 260 70s and now it's trading at 268 322 on the bid 327 on the ask. I bought in at 281. That was all because of my signals there. This is uh, awesome. That's okay. I did not lose money. I'm happy, guys. I'm a happy camper. No, I'm not a happy camper. Why am I lying to you guys? I just missed out on a great trade again. So frustrating. Guys, I got to admit to you, it is frustrating. I don't know why I lied to you guys in the uh, while I was actually recording my screen, but it, it's frustrating because I let my emotions get the best of me. And now I'm sitting on the floor here uh, next to a door, next to the glass sliding glass door here because it has the best lighting, so I apologize. But anyways, this is as real as it gets, guys. I don't think there are very many traders out there that are going to show you um, just your, the emotional side of trading. Uh, they're not going to show you uh, really what they feel inside and I'm doing it here. There, there are very few. I can think of just not even a full, a handful of, of traders on YouTube but anyways guys. It sucks. It sucks because I'm, I'm letting my emotions get the best of me. I'm getting into some pretty awesome trades. Uh, you got to give me credit on that. I got to give myself credit on that. I'm getting um, some great entries. And the one that I missed out on Monday where I got out and it actually was a losing trade. Five, I, I lost five cents on the actual trade, option trade, um, option price. 
had I stuck with my original trading plan, my original trading strategy, I would have made money. Same deal today. Even though it wasn't a losing trade, uh, I broke even. I made like a dollar fifty, dollar sixty, whatever. We're gonna call that even. But overall, in my five hundred dollar portfolio, I'm up. I'm up twenty six bucks. Uh, that's a tiny bit over five percent. So I can't beat myself up too, but uh, too bad. I got to give myself credit. I can't be too hard on myself. Um, it's interesting the 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 sort of psychological um, sort of trading aspect. Of trading a small trading account um, because had I uh, traded with $500 knowing that I have in my trading account $2,500 or even $5,000 losing $50, $60, $70 isn't a big deal um, in the grand scheme of things relatively speaking because I have money to replenish that. Uh, the idea is that I have uh, or I keep sort of telling myself I got to protect my profit. I got to protect uh, my portfolio, and 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 get out. Keep my losses relatively small, and then just take what I have on the table whenever I'm in profit. Because if I start losing, I can't replenish that as easy, guys. And I promise you, not I shouldn't be saying this, but the weird part is whenever I'm I. I'm gonna get myself into a bad trade because you know it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen fairly soon. Uh, I don't hope or wish that that it'll happen soon, but it's all part of trading. When I get into a bad trade, I'm gonna hold on to it, right? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna be in that wishful wishful thinking mode of it's gonna come back, it's gonna come back, and I'm not gonna actually cut my losses. Uh, the way that I I sort of protect myself to the upside once I'm in a winning trade, but. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to be extremely real with you guys. This is, I, again, I can't think of any other trader actually doing this and actually showing you the emotional aspect of trading before, during, and after the actual trade. So don't forget the drawing, guys. Don't forget. Uh, it ends November 5th. Um, all you got to do is send me an email with the subject line round two. Tell me a little bit about yourself, about your trading career, your trading experience, anything you want to tell me. Pick a number between 1 and 50. On November 7th, I'm going to pick three lucky winners. Those three lucky winners are going to have an hour of my time and they're going to get my signals absolutely free. Although I am going to go ahead and just put out my signals, give them away absolutely free once I get to a thousand subscribers, guys. So hit that subscribe button, share and like my videos, guys. Uh, the faster that I get to a thousand subscribers, the faster that you guys get my signals, guys. Like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. See you again next time.